Good morning, Southview. Today is Wednesday, March 1st. Students will be taking the Illinois Assessment of Readiness, or IAR, test on March 14th through 16th, which is only two weeks away. There will be three math tests and two reading tests, and the entire building will be taking these tests at the same time during the day, and will be following a different schedule than normal for three days. Homeroom teachers will be sharing more information as we get closer to the date, but I wanted to make sure to show you the general expectations in advance. Cell phones or smartwatches are not allowed in the classroom during testing and must be put in the lockers before testing begins. This is in the cell phone agreement that your parents sign at the beginning of the year. During testing sessions, students will not be allowed to go to the restroom unless it is an absolute emergency. Disruptive behavior will not be tolerated during the test and disruptive students will be escorted to the office. Students will be earning points for attendance and effort on each test for the PBIS celebration for March. More on that next week. Once teachers verify that the tests are complete and submitted correctly, students may need to be silent at their desk for the remainder of the session. This is to let the students still taking the test fully be able to concentrate. Students are not allowed to do anything on their computers during that testing session, so you need to find something very quiet that is not distracting to do during that time. It is important to be at school and be on time so you're able to take the test during the days assigned. Makeup testing will be done after spring break, so if you're absent during testing, you will still have to take the test, but will miss out on the PBIS celebration for March. We hope that everyone will be here and try their best because testing is an important part of what school is and we need to make sure to take it seriously. Time for a look at our day. We have sixth grade computer club from 345 to 450 and project success tonight in the cafetorium. Have you ever wanted to appear on announcements? Well, pay attention because you might just get that chance. Hello, Mr. Hubbard here. I wanted to pop on to show you how you can be on the announcements. You may have noticed that I have some students that do it from time to time, and I am wanting more. So here's how you figure that out. So if you go to my Green Couch Google Classroom, which is linked in the email I send out every day with announcements so that if you don't know how to get there or you're not already on it, just ask your teacher to give you the link and you can join the Google Classroom. Once you're on there, on the very top is this announcements audition program. So it's called Flipgrid. You're gonna need to video yourself, which is a big part of announcements if you haven't noticed. So make sure that you are okay with that. Uh, before you do this, because I don't want just a voice. I want a dynamic personality that can be able to be on camera and be engaging. So once you're on here, you're going to see this video, which you can watch. I can briefly describe what you're supposed to do. And then you are going to go to this script. You're going to press record and you're going to record yourself performing that script as if you did the announcements. Now, this is obviously a bogus script that has nothing to do with the current uh, things going on at the school, but it gives me an idea of what you're able to do and your reading ability and your ability to perform it on camera. So please submit your auditions and I will be, based on those auditions, I will be selecting a few of you who I think are really talented in that area to join the announcements team. That's awesome.